Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day. Thank you and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. I'd like to start with you, Dr. Friedland. Thank you for being here. You too, Alice. Dr. Thank Friedland, you. Thank before you. we get started on how to fix it, what is shingles? Yeah, thank you very much. This is Dr. Len Friedland, a vaccine research scientist at GSK Vaccines and a pediatrician in the state of Pennsylvania. You asked, uh, what is shingles? Shingles is a disease that's caused by the reactivation of a virus that's been living in our nerves. It's actually the chickenpox virus, and 99% of all people over the age of 50 have evidence that they have this virus in their body. When the virus reactivates, it can cause a painful, blistering rash where on one side of the body where that nerve root is, and Alice will tell you about where that was in her body. This rash can be blistering and painful, and the pain can last for months, sometimes years, and can be absolutely debilitating. It has an effect where people's quality of life is decreased because they're constantly managing this pain that is very, very difficult to control. One million new cases of shingles every year in the United States, very common, and it's vaccine preventable. You answered my question, how many people are impacted by this? Before I go to Lisa, um, is there a vaccination for shingles? Yeah, so Alice will tell you about her disease. There is a vaccination and it's recommended for all people over the age of 50, as are other vaccines that are recommended for adults over age 50. And I hope we have a chance to come back and talk about that because during the pandemic, we've seen that many adults have missed their routine vaccinations. We've seen dramatic declines in vaccination. We know that adults need more information about what vaccines are recommended. And we have a website for that at broughtbyvaccines.com. B-R-O-U-G-H-T-B-Y-V-A-C-C-I-N-E-S.com, brought by vaccines.com, where adults can find out about all the vaccines that are recommended over the age of 50, and they can be done safely this year in the doctor and pharmacy office. But let me pass you over to Alice and tell you about her disease. Alice, tell me your story. Thank you for asking. Um, in 2016, I was 57 years old. I was working full time and looking forward to my wedding and I woke up with a terrible, terrible headache, the worst headache of my life. A few days later, I got the rash, just like Dr. Friedland said, I got it on the right side of my forehead. And I had pain for months. It was terrible pain in my eye area, in my eye. And the rash actually, I'm sorry, the virus actually got into my eye and I had severe uh, light sensitivity. So I had to stay in a dark room for months. So really, I just have so many regrets about not knowing very much about shingles at the time that I got hit. And I just want to encourage people strongly to talk to their doctor, find out their risk, and think about getting the vaccine so this doesn't happen to you. Fortunately, I healed from this. As Dr. Friedland said, not everybody gets well. I still have a little bit of pain, though, that comes up now and then. But I feel very, very lucky to have gotten over this disease. Thank you so very much, and I'm so glad that you're better. Dr. You, Friedland, is her story almost normal for people to find out how they've got shingles, or is hers unique? No, Alice's story is typical. This is a disease that's very common. One in three people over the age of 50 will have a case of shingles in the course of their lifetime. And this is why shingles vaccination is recommended by the Centers for Disease Control for everybody over the age of 50, because the best way to manage shingles is to prevent it from happening to begin with. And we can do that safely and effectively for people over the age of 50. People over the age of 50 are recommended to get other vaccines as well, the vaccines to protect against pertussis or whooping cough. This year, of course, so important to be protected against influenza. And for people over 65, there's the pneumonia vaccine. Many adults are unfamiliar with the vaccines that are recommended. They say they need more information, and that's where BroughtByVaccines.com can get that information. And I do want to say one other thing. Vaccination this year during the pandemic can be done safely in the doctor's office and in the pharmacy. Doctors and pharmacists have created safe ways, safe places to get vaccines given to adult patients. So brought by vaccines.com to get more information. Analysis case is very typical. I got a question that's coming off of a, where is that coming off of? Coming off of Twitter. They want to know, uh, you talked about three vaccines, the flu, pneumonia, and shingles. 
Do you get them all at the same time? We don't want to miss any opportunities for vaccination. So these vaccines can all be given at the same time. It depends on your age and exactly what's recommended. For example, one of the pneumonia vaccines is for people over the age of 65, while shingles is for age 50. So depending upon your age, you should speak to your doctor and your pharmacist, and they can give multiple vaccines at the same time because we don't want to miss the opportunity. And again, I want to highlight also influenza. So important to get your influenza vaccine this year. We want to keep our hospitals not busy with people with influenza. So if they have to take care of people with COVID, they have the space to do that. And so protect yourself. Brought by vaccines.com to get the more information. Great question. You've been you've been great guest. And, and before I let you go, I got one more question off of uh, social media, doctor. They want to know with the pandemic is the age group called baby boomers, are they more at risk for shingles or COVID-19? So the risk for shingles is, is the risk starts to go up for everybody after the age of 50. And that has to do with our immune systems. As we age, our immune systems decline. And that places us at increased risk for many infectious diseases, including shingles. So Alice was a typical case. She was a young 57-year-old. And she came down with this disease that really impacted her life. So that's why vaccines are recommended for people over age 50. And again, brought by vaccines.com to find out more about all the vaccines that are recommended as we get older. Dr. Freeling and Alice, thank you so very much for being here on the Valder BB Show and talking about an important topic. Thank you. Thank you. My phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to MyPhonePouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely.